Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to Bedtime Stories. Now, I have a few books today that I have chosen for you. I'm a little bit stuck, so can you help me choose one? Very good. Before we start, what do we have to do? Have we brushed our teeth? Are we ready and comfy in our PJs? Is that a yes? Then let's go. So I've chosen two books, but I'm a bit confused which one I should read. Maybe you could help me. This one or this one? Should we go for this one? Okay. We'll start off with this one first. And then if you're really good and you've been sitting nicely and quietly, I might be able to squeeze in the other book. Should we see what we're going to be reading today for bedtime stories? So today's book that I have chosen to read to you is called Zoe and the Fairy Medicine. What do you think the story is going to be about? Zoe and the Fairy Medicine. Now I think it's about a girl called Zoe. She's a fairy and it's something to do with medicine. How many of you take medicine when you're not feeling very well? Do you like taking medicine? I'm, I'm not a big fan of medicine. I don't like taking it. I only take it if I really have to. But medicine is good for you. So let's see what Zoe is doing with the medicine in this book. Zoe and the fairy medicine. Are we ready? I'll be away for a few days at an annual fairy convention, announced the fairy queen. Wow, a big fairy queen. She's going to a big convention. Who knows what a convention is? It's a bit of a tricky word and it's a big word, isn't it? Convention is like a meeting, a gathering where the fairy is going, maybe to see other fairies. Who knows, let's find out. There must be no trouble here at fairy school. She's going away and she's leaving them by themselves in the fairy school. What do you think they're gonna get up to? Do you think the fairies are naughty? Maybe they'll be really good and they'll clean the school and they make it look really neat and tidy for the big fairy queen to come back. Should we find out? Let's see. The fairies assured that they would be on their best behavior and watched as she flew off, clutching a very full suitcase. Have your parents ever gone away for a few days, maybe they've gone to a relative's house and left you with um, your siblings or, or um, an older cousin? Have you been on your best behaviour? Did you keep the house nice and tidy? Let's see what these fairies got up to. A few days later, Zoe and Pip were playing with their friends, Marcy, in the woods. Oh, that sounds scary. In the woods? They were jumping from one toadstool to another. It was great fun. Suddenly, Marcy jumped too high and bumped her head on an overhanging branch. Ouch! Splat! She fell to the ground. Oh, poor Marcy, said Pip. We must take her to see, to see Fairy Nurse immediately, said Zoe. Oh dear, Marcy's really bumped her head, hasn't she? Have you ever been playing in the woods or perhaps in the park and bumped your head? It's quite painful. I wonder how Marcy feels. Let's see if they can get her to the fairy nurse. At the castle sick room, Marcy was put to bed with a bandage, a bandage on her head. The fairy nurse gave her some medicine to make her feel better. But just as she was about to put the medicine 
back, she noticed something on the bottle. What do you think was on the bottle? Can you have a guess? Very good, let's see. Oh no, I've given her the growing medicine, she cried. Uh-oh, they gave Marcy the wrong medicine. Just then, Marcy's legs and arms started getting longer. Help, whispered Marcy. Oh dear, said the fairy nurse, looking at the cabinet. I'm afraid that we have run out of shrinking medicine and the only one and the only thing is the fairy queen knows how to make it. We don't know. Oh dear. Marcy has been given the wrong medicine and now her legs and arms are growing very long. What do you think is going to happen next? Do you think she'll fit inside the, the medical room or do you think her arms and legs might stretch out too much? Let's see. Zoe and Pip knew that in the library there was a book full of potions and medicine and their ingredients. So they rushed there immediately. They had to stop Marcy from growing. After searching all day, they found a recipe, the shrinking medicine. Do you think they're gonna get it in time to stop Marcy from overgrowing? Oh, shall we see what's gonna happen? After searching all day, finally they got the recipe. Eureka, cried Zoe, but we will have to fly to the top of the fairy mountain. Top of the fairy mountain? That sounds scary. Some of the ingredients are on the mountain and they're guarded by a scary troll. They went back to say goodbye to Marcy, who had grown a lot more during the day. Don't worry, Marcy. We'll shrink you again. We'll, we will be off to get the ingredients first thing tomorrow, said Zoe. Oh dear, Marcy's legs are very, very long. Can you imagine if you took some medicine that your parents have given you and your arms and legs started growing really, really long? What would you do? That'd be very funny, wouldn't it? Early the next morning, armed with sleeping dust to protect themselves against the scary troll, Zoe and Pip set off. They flew higher and higher and higher into the mountains, up through the clouds and over the croggy rocks. They were very frightened and worried and, and tired. Oh, I, I think they are very tired. I would be tired if I had to fly high and high and high just to reach the, reach the mountain top. How would you feel? Oh, I feel exhausted already reading about it. They were very frightened and worried, but they knew they had to keep going. That's very kind of them, isn't it? They're still trying to keep going. That's positive attitude. Now, when at last they reached the top, they paused to catch their breath. Gosh, they must be exhausted. Would you like to have a little look? There's the mountain and there's Zoe flying high and high higher and higher to reach the top of the mountain. There was a big sound, thud, thud, thud. As they were resting, they heard a sound like a thunder. 
Who's heard the thunder sound before? You know sometimes when the weather is bad and you can hear the sky making noise and it sounds like lots of things banging in the sky. That's what it sounded like, lots of thuds. So as they were resting, they heard a sound like thunder. We must stay calm, said Pip. But the noise kept getting closer and louder. Thud, thud, thud. It isn't thunder at all, whispered Zoe. As she and Pip clung on to each other, they were so frightened they didn't want to let each other go. The troll, it's the troll. Do you want to see? Look at that scary troll. Oh, I'd be scared if I saw the troll. Oh, sorry about that. There was a fly coming next to me. Not as scary as a troll though. <laughs> and just as the fairies were about to throw the sleeping dust, oh, What's the sleeping dust? Maybe it's a magic powder to put him to sleep. They were just gonna throw it at the troll. The troll gave them a big friendly smile. Can I help you fairies? Asked the troll. Most politely he spoke to them. Zoe and Pip were speechless Speechless means they didn't know what to say. They thought the troll would be scary and frightening and scare them away. But when the troll smiled at them and spoke to them so nicely and politely, they didn't know what to say. They were quite surprised. The troll didn't seem scary at all. Have you had a long flight? He asked. Why have you come here? said the troll. Zoe was the first to find her voice. Please, Mr. Troll, our friend Marcy keeps growing and we need to make some shrinking potion. Because the fairy nurse got mixed up and gave her a growing potion. And soon she'll be too big for the castle. As Zoe continued to tell the story, Pip handed the list to the troll. Oh, this is quite exciting, isn't it? Do you think they're going to be able to get the ingredients in time to help their friend to stop growing? The troll seems really nice. Maybe he will help them. Let's see what happens next. Don't worry. The troll said gently, I can help, but I'll need your assistance in getting all the ingredients. With that, the fairies were off to the troll, off with the troll to begin their search. First, what do you think they collected first to make their potion? Do you have any ideas? Oh, that could be an idea. First, they collected gooey slime. How many of us play with gooey slime? It's quite relaxing and enjoyable, isn't it? Let's see what the gooey slime can do. They got that from the troll's cave. Then they plucked a feather from a sleeping vulture. Oh, I don't think I'd want to do that. Can you imagine? plucking a feather from a vulture. If he had woken up, that wouldn't be very nice, would it? They picked up the deepest purple forest violets. Violets are very pretty. And took some sticky soft web from an angry spider. Oh dear, I wouldn't want to take it from an angry spider. Who's scared of spiders? Me too. 
back in his cave, the troll added spices and seasonings. At last, he pronounced it ready. Spices and seasoning sounds like he's making food, but it's actually a magic potion. Now, children, let's see if this potion is going to work and help Zoe's friend to stop growing. Shall we see what the troll did next? It had been a very long day and Zoe and Pip were exhausted. So the troll kindly carried them down the mountainside. The fairies at the fairy castle were so frightened when they saw the troll, they barred the windows and the doors. Don't worry, Zoe and Pip called them from the ground. We have the shrinking medicine and the troll helped us. Zoe and Pip, they know the trolls very nice. But do you think everybody else in the castle think the same thing about the troll? I wouldn't either if I didn't know him. They're all scared of the big troll, but he's actually very friendly, isn't he? Now let's see what happens to Zoe when she goes in the castle. When Zoe and Pip were let in the castle, they took the potion straight to the sick room. Here, take this potion quickly said the fairy nurse to Marcy. The fairy queen is coming back tomorrow morning. Zoe, Pip and the fairy nurse nervously watched and waited. Then suddenly, uh-oh, what do you think happened? What do you think happened as she took the medicine? Do you think Marcy is shrinking or do you think she's growing? Who can guess an answer for me? Very good. Shall we find out? I'm quite nervous actually. When the fairy queen returned, she looked around carefully. Is everything in order? She asked. Everyone nodded. Isn't Marcy just a bit taller than usual? Asked the fairy queen. Um, oh dear, they're quite nervous. They don't know what to answer her. She must have been growing. She must have had a growing spurt while you were away, said Zoe. Oh dear. I think the potion did work a little bit but not all of it worked because she's still quite tall. Shall I show you? There she is. Can you, can you see her? There she is. She's a little bit taller than the other fairies, isn't she? At least she's not a giant. <clears throat> hmm, said the fairy queen. And when no one was looking, she gave the troll a wink, a wink. There's the fairy queen and there's a the lovely, friendly troll. Why do you think she gave the troll a wink? I think the fairy queen knew something wasn't right. And I think the fairy queen knew the troll and she knew why he was there. But she didn't want to let them know that, did she? She acted surprised. How many times have you been up to something or up to mischief and your parents knew, but they didn't say anything because you made so much effort to put, to put things back to normal or, or maybe you took something and then you replaced it or maybe you broke something and you replaced it. So I think that's why the fairy queen winked at the troll. So the troll wasn't scary at all, was he? Well, children, we've come to the end of the story today. I hope you enjoyed re reading with me, bedtime stories. 
and I will hopefully see you again soon. Have a good night, be cosy and relaxed, and I'll see you again soon. Assalamu alaikum.